Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Boat. I want to talk about the fight that's going to be happening tomorrow, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua. And um, you know one thing, because what I realized, and I was, I mean, I looked at it, but as in his height and his reach, like he's six, Andy uh, Ruiz is what, six foot two? I think six foot two, six foot three, whatever. And he's got a seven foot inch reach. You know, Anthony Joshua is what, six foot six, and he's got an 80, 80 some inch reach. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be the, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that's going to be the deciding factor of this uh, event, this match that's going to happen tomorrow. And uh, I've seen the Andy Ruiz uh, fight against uh, Joseph Parker. And that kind of gave me some kind of detail of what, it gave me somewhat of what, uh, how uh, Andy Ruiz is going to fight um, Anthony Joshua. Because Andy, Andy Ruiz is not an athletic per, uh, boxer at all. You know, um, he got some head movement, some, not that much. Um, he, he's a come forward fighter. Now, if he come forward and fight Anthony Joss the way he fought uh, Joseph Parker, um, I think he will lose, as in if he try to box Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua will win that uh, with no with no cuts or with no injuries or nothing like that, you know, no, you know, with no uh, competition, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I think – because uh, – Anthony Joshua got a longer reach than him. He, if Anthony Joshua does, he, if he, if he fight Andy Ruiz uh, from a distance, he'll definitely win this fight. But I think that Anthony Joshua is going to go try to go for the knockout because of versus uh, Wilder versus uh, uh, dominant, dominant, dominant Brazil. You know what I'm saying? So now it's now I think he's going to try to. It's it's now it's they comparing uh, Anthony Joshua and um, Deontay Wilder because you know that's the fight that everybody's waiting to see in. I think it's going to happen next year. And some people think that some people said the fight might not ever happen, but trust me, it's going to happen. It's too much money uh, will be left on the table, whatever, if they don't never fight each other. You know what I'm saying? So, but any Ruiz, if he get close to uh, Anthony Joshua, he can make it a, a, a somewhat of an interesting fight. You know what I'm saying? Because but Andy Ruiz will be in danger zone too at the same time because he don't have the long reach. And he, 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 he has a, his, and he's shorter than uh, Anthony Joshua. And, and then when you look at Andy Ruiz, you'll be like, man, this dude ain't no boxer. He's a, he just came to get a paycheck the way he looked. But, you know, one thing is some people say, even looking at the uh, Joseph Parker fight, uh, you know, some people were looking at the comments at the YouTube, they said he, he got robbed. You know what I'm saying? He should have won that fight. And, you know, he made it an interesting fight, and I wouldn't even disagree with y'all with that. You know what I'm saying? With some of the people who were saying that. But, um... But the thing about it is, man, I, I mean, I remember uh, Eddie Harris was on a, uh, at the press conference talking about this. He kind of scared of Anthony Joshua. I think he's trying to sell a fight. I think he's not, you know, he's not somewhat afraid of Andy or who he's, you know what I'm saying, um, for, uh, beating Anthony Joshua. But, you know, you never know. It's all, he always he always have a punch of chance because when you get, when any any Ruiz uh, get close to you, he can make an interesting fight. He can make a competitive fight. At the same time, you know what I'm saying, and uh, he, he he's a he's a quicker uh, puncher than uh, Andrew Joshua. I would say that, but do he have uh, devastating knockout power? No, he would have to get his he would have to get his knockout from this different combination of different punches then knock you out. Which, eh, you know, which I don't I don't more likely it might not happen in this fight against Andrew Joshua. But you know, one thing is I remember Andrew Joshua fought uh, Alexander Povetkin. And I remember Pavekin here with a punch and got uh, got uh, Anthony Joshua attention. And he's six two, six three inch, so he was not that tall. So you never know, you know, uh, you know. But somebody, I think somebody will get knocked down. Somebody probably it's a possibility somebody will get knocked out. And more likely, I think it'd be Andy Ruiz. Uh, you know, what I'm saying will get will get knocked down, knocked out. But you never know. You know, he might surprise uh, me and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And you know one thing, it's kind of funny when they say he's the first, he'd be the first, um, he'd be the first Mexican descent to win win uh, uh win all three of the belts or four of the belts that Anthony Joshua have, but he was born in America. So I remember he said he is he's doing it for Mexico. Well, you mean you do it for America because you you was born in America. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? But I wonder how uh, 
anybody who any Mexican who's born in Mexico will feel about how he how he's talking at the same time. They might agree with him, they might not agree with him because if he was born over here on this on this side of the uh the border, you 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 American, you know what I'm saying? But they say he's Mexican American, then he says on his on his on his with a computer Peter profile, he's he's American. So it's kind of like what what you know. I mean, he's Mexican descent, just like uh, Mikey Garcia. He's he's uh he's American. You know, what I'm saying he's born in America. He's Mexican descent, but you know, but at the same time, man, that's not what we. That's not what. That's not what I'm talking about. And, and that's I mean, that's not why y'all here to hear me talk about something like that. But what do y'all think about this fight? Do you think uh, Andy Josh is kind of scared of him or? Do you think he's looking past him or whatever? Or do you think this is going to be an interesting fight? Because at the same time, um, I think Andy Joshua's the heavy, uh, can definitely knock out Andy Ruiz. But you never know. Andy Ruiz got a, you know, he got those different kind of, different combinations to get Andy Joshua out too at the same time with his punches too, you know. But I think Andy Joshua hit the hardest. He's the heaviest. He's the, he's the tallest. He's got the longer reach. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, um, He's not. He's not old. He's he's in his prime right now. Any reason not old either, but he's in his prime. But the fighters on his resume, uh, I don't. They're not well known names, but don't don't mean they they wasn't good fighters either at the same time. So, but you know, one thing is, uh, we definitely find out June tomorrow, June the first, who will be who will who will who will gain victory in this boxing match. But at the same, but, but let me tell you this. I'm gonna say this: Which who, if Andy Ruiz is fighting Deontay Wilder, who do you think will win that fight? Off back, y'all would definitely say that uh, Deontay Wilder would definitely win that fight after that after after the victory over uh, Dominic Brazil. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, you know, and th the thing about it is, I think Anthony Joshua definitely looked at that, and he's got to make a statement, and especially his his first debut in America. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to sell. He's trying to put people in the seats at the same time, and Eddie Hearns too at the same time. The way he was talking on the press conference, talking about he's kind of scared of uh, the anti Joshua might, you know, somewhat lose or might not win this fight, whatever, and all that. And he's kind of worried, but that's just that's just him being a promoter talking and trying to sell, uh, trying to put people in the seats and sell tickets at the same time, which that's that's what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, but at the same time, uh, who you think will win between if, if any Ruiz is fighting down in Brazil? I think down Brazil will uh will win against any Ruiz. I think down Brazil is just too tall. He's six foot six. I mean six foot he's six foot seven. You know what I'm saying? But you never know. He's six foot two, six foot three. I don't know about that. You know, so down in Brazil, I think he definitely hit harder than any Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but see, I'm doing the same thing too. I'm comparing each uh, Deontay Wilder uh opponents uh um with uh anti Joshua opponents because this is that's the fight that everybody's waiting to uh see uh definitely next year but it ain't gonna be this year I definitely for sure but um what y'all think about this fight who you think is gonna win do you think it's gonna be a knockout do you think somebody's gonna you think somebody's gonna get knocked down but um if you got any comments leave a comment at the bottom of my page subscribe to my page like my page hit the notification bell for new videos from me this is JT from Bubble Blow the Belt I right, bye